No Jump Bear, coolest podcast in the world. And uh, today, what are we doing here? I don't really know, but I figured that it would be a worthy endeavor to bring some of my homies that I do content with together with allegedly some bad bitches. You're welcome. And I'm going to put you guys in that category. So you guys have all earned the bad bitch <laughs> category in my mind. I know AD and T Rao, they're still working on kind of like figuring out women and what makes them tick. Oh, is that so? Yeah, as far as I can tell. We're oh. like the Avengers. So I wanted to create a nice little panel here so we could have a conversation and learn about each other. How's okay. that sound? Let's do it. Like a civilized discussion? Yeah. Wait, can you talk into that again? Yes. Does it sound normal? Sound normal to me. She should breathe a little harder when she says that. Yes. Can you hear me? That's, yes. what, it sound good. It sound good. That's what we like Scott for. She has a very like breathy voice. Yeah. Thank you. So anyway, Never that before. let's let's talk about this subject first. Uh, Kazumi, you're telling us that you have this sort of new fetish. What's what's going on? It's an old fetish. I feel like I always pay for my men. It's a real problem. Yeah, this is actually so my. Woohoo! Do you fuck with broke men? Okay, really see, see, that's a good example. They can't hear you because you don't have the mic, so I, don't, I just want to point here. that out. <laughs> <laughs> Speak on it. Preach, Kazumi. A few months ago, I, uh, I paid for a hooker for my ex so that he could get pussy because I was too lazy. And I realized what the that, fuck? Uh, anyways, before I was interrupted, I just thought, honestly, I like paying for my men. They just kind of are nicer. Your ex? So yeah. Like they, like, where I'm, do you, I'm, where I'm do you, rebranding myself as single. Could you could you tell the people where, you know what I'm saying, a, a nice pr girl in a relationship can buy a hooker for their man? Could you tell them? Yeah, where did Kazumi, you wait, hooker? Kazumi knows all of, she has an army, so I'm pretty sure she hit up her roll of decks and was like, hey, <laughs> come my fuck my man deck. real quick. They was like, ah, I got you. And where, where did this idea come about? Um, I always was into like hoes, you know, and I just felt like I might as well pay for it legally. So we went to a brothel and it happened. I watched South Park. He like got his dick wet. It was cool. Where was this brothel? Um, Nevada. Legal. Was that where Lamar Odom was? Who? <laughs> no. No. Uh, okay. You don't know who Lamar Odom is? No. Hmm. Is that going to embarrass me later? Nice. Oh, yeah, I totally know him. I guess it's all right for you to yeah. not know who that is. Yeah. But, okay, so your ex. Yeah. So before you My were, current boyfriend, I'm sorry. Right, oh, you feel bad <laughs> I was about saying, that's the nigga him? that was in the pictures? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say, why leave? You got the best life ever. You get I was to be trying naked to rebrand as shit. a single woman. It wasn't working. I couldn't commit. So, yeah. Ah. It, was, it was this weekend. It's hard for you mm -hmm. to... Yeah, I just broke up. No, we're still together. It's hard for you to do that, huh? Uh-huh. I'm, I'm just trying to rebrand. Wait, so do you fuck broke niggas? Hold it right you by your mouth. <laughs> 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 um, I don't really care about how much money they make. I'm like, so a, I feel like I have enough money to do what I, I want to do. I feel like I got do. a couple men that I could turn you away. Oh, well, thank okay. you. Uh, they can collect me. I'm about to get a coin real quick. I love a little slave. Let you know? They pay each other. <laughs> this is crazy. Kazumi's a rare breed because she's the, the very rare type of girl <laughs> who has enough money that she like really actually doesn't care about dudes having money, which is not something I'm used to because I've been hanging around broke bitches my whole life. But the world <laughs> has changed. Have, I feel like you don't have to be broke because I, I get money, but you don't have to be broke to oh, to yeah. want to date a man who has money. Me? You have to be <laughs> no. broke oh. to want to date a man who has money? Well, <laughs> she's not broke, and so she seems pretty happy. Oh, she can is, do what she is, wants. This is just my she's personal a trick. Endeavor, she's a trick. You know, I mean, I also, you know, if someone paid me enough money, I would do most things, you know? How's your man 80? feel about that? Oh. <laughs> How's your man feel about oh, that? Oh, it's totally cool, but I'm in like a different realm, you know what I mean? What realm are you in? Just a, you know, life is better on this side. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is, this is the shit I be talking about when, when we talk about you porn stars and paid? how we think about porn stars <laughs> when they say shit like that. See, I, 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 I knew I you were going to have something say to say here. Well, well, Kazumi's a different level of, of uh, I would say, porn star. I'm just trying to She's wrap like my, very free. I'm trying yeah. to wrap my head around yeah. what your dude is thinking when you're out for the night fucking some old man in the ass with a strap on or whatever weird ass that shit you'd be doing. That was before we were dating, okay. by the way. <laughs> but I could totally do it again for a certain amount of money. How much or money? Or for the frill of it all. How much money? If it's you, for free. Not You're me. welcome. No. Oh, no. Oh, my bad. He will, he will, he will, he gonna take he will, you up well, on Why are you asking? She made me wear a condom on account of her boyfriend. Hell yeah. It didn't count. <laughs> it didn't count. I still don't have any white bodies. 
Uh, <laughs> bro, it felt kind of weird. Like it felt, it doesn't really feel like I. Nigga, fucked you it. ain't wore a condom since Tupac yeah. died. We just hung out. You yeah, know? you know, we, we hung out like, like friends. My dick was like, okay. Can I can I cite a strange circumstance that happened while I was hooking up with my girl and Kazumi? You threw food at us. I did throw some food at you, but that was unrelated. <laughs> no, so I'm fucking my girl, right? And I'm filming that with the iPhone. Now, Kazumi's right here, and I'm kind of like going back and forth. I'm showing her and shit, too, and I'm, I'm feeling on her booty, and I'm rubbing her Subscribe. vagina. <laughs> but you can't see that my hand is touching her vagina in the clip. So I'm kind of feeling like I'm cheating on my girl because, <laughs> you know, I'm fucking you, but I'm fucking you for the clip, like for the footage, you know? So it's kind of like anything that's happening outside of the view of the camera uh -huh. is just for my personal enjoyment, and that's a little odd. Don't you, you go, think? Adam. That's the stupidest shit I ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Explain, <laughs> Berenstein Bear. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was dumb. Why? Why is that dumb? Because you already was accepted to have sex and do what y'all supposed to do. We allowed you into my vaginal realm. Yeah, you're welcome. So everything was on on the table. So anything, Not including, anything. but Excuse but, but except, okay. except the raw dog. Here's the yeah. example. Here's the example. If the camera's off and I just start making out with Kazumi, I mean, to my girl, that's kind of weird, right? Because like we're here to do content. Why are you just making out with her? So I so I me, would make out with Lena even if the cameras were off. Yeah, but I feel like it's a little different <laughs> with me, right? Um, why? Because you're a man. I'm a dude in the situation. <laughs> yeah. Is it not a little weird? I guess like you know for the. So that wasn't crossing your mind when I was rubbing your vagina while we were all having sex? I didn't notice. I was looking at your, your woman. You she, keep saying that. You're so full of shit. Dude, you she's know you love my condom uh, dick. Yeah, I love <laughs> What's he trying to say is she didn't give a fuck if he was there or not. Dude, she I was, was there on for my Lena. wavelength for Lena. I could be a kielbasa for all you care. <laughs> <laughs> I have another conversation that I would like to have on here. Can you please pass that mic to Sky? Yes. Guys. Sky is now single because... Her ex, her ex's family found out about her fucking me. Yeah, so basically they gave me the ultimatum. Oh, left your ass too. They gave him the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it G. The Fair fuck, enough. The Fair fuck enough. you fucking poor man for? <laughs> and then we'll sit there and stay with your ass. Fuck out of here. Not every man is man enough to be a porn boyfriend, my friend. I am. Yeah, fuck this that. Is this ass eater in the elevator? Yeah. Man? So, oh. so yeah. basically his family found out because of the whole Target thing. And they gave him the ultimatum. Either you stay with her or you lose us. Like, we will cut you off not give you any support so he was going to choose me but that was too much pressure on me so i cut it off Hell yeah. and also i'm i've been in a relationship most of my life and i'm ready to go through my hoe phase so like i just moved to la a week ago and i'm ready just to fuck <laughs> like, how many guys <laughs> holy shit how many guys have you fucked since that dude well i got a train ran on me recently <laughs> Wait, for, for content or no, just for No, like fun? for my own pleasure. How did this happen? Should. I need to hear uh, all about this. It was fucking this. amazing. So basically, I went over to this dude's house. Um, it's two dudes that live in the house. I'm familiar with both of them. Are you talking about the YouTubers? No, this dude's a photographer. Two and a half men. Oh, okay. oh I want to fuck him too, but... You didn't fuck that dude yet? I sucked his dick. He posted yeah. you on his Instagram and you didn't I fuck him? I sucked his dick. I'm trying help. to date him. You like him like that? I like him, yeah. What the fuck? You're not ready to date anybody. You're out here hoeing. <laughs> Okay. She's ready. Yeah, so but can I have a few boyfriends? Is that not allowed? You, no, can, you totally can do whatever allowed. you want, honestly. But okay, so I, I just want to hear about the process of you doing your first gangbang. And I also want to right. say that this is because of the Kazumis and the Elizas because oh, yeah. she, they would not, me. she would not think Definitely. that this was so normal if she wasn't in the No Jumper universe where it is apparently completely normal to be getting trains ran on you. And anybody that fucked you got to be a, a bold person. Pull that out a little bit more. I don't want T-Rail to have to fully French kiss you to be able to oh, say something. Man. I want to hear what you have to say about these things, though, I'm as well. Hey, okay. I'm I say anybody that fuck you got to be a crazy. Okay. Just Everybody get, does trains. Tilt it out a little bit when T-Roll ready to talk. So I don't want him to fully have to like become oh, one with you. This mic right here. As as yeah, yeah, do that. Do that. Oh, Let's pass. But, okay. Yeah. Take, it, take us through this. So basically, these two dudes invited me over to their house. One was a photographer who I worked with previously and his roommate. And um, I went over and I thought it was just going to be the two of them. But it was actually two other guys. So it was like, surprise. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, how did how did this happen? Though? Well, they so, so they were like, we're having a spa night at my house. Like, do you want to come over? And I was like, spa night? Like, I just moved to LA. I'm a little stressed, you know, so I could use that. And so we went. They have a jacuzzi in their backyard, and we all just got in the jacuzzi, and they all came on to me at once, and I liked it. They all came on to you at once? Yeah, they didn't trick their ass. What the fuck? How how is three grown men having a spa night together? But the kicker kicker is they're all related. So, like, is that creepy? I don't think so. I never even heard of spa night. So this is it. The spa. How did you get in contact with this nigga, first of all? Let me. Well, I knew the one dude that... There's two dudes that live in the house. The one is a photographer, and he had shot pictures of me. Which is, like, the number one way to get laid in Los Angeles or anywhere. Oh, yeah. If you could take... Half decent photos of a girl. Spoiler: All you need is like a four hundred dollar DSLR off fucking the off Craigslist. You can take a pretty picture of a girl. She will let you into her bedroom, and the door is then open for you to potentially have sex. Yeah, don't yeah. go ahead. And now you can get on no jumper, you know what I'm saying? See them all on your fucking show saying they'll fuck everybody and then they'll DM them and they'll go over there and be like, okay, let's do it. And don't be that creepy photographer that be throwing cake batter on the bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? Snapping photos. I be hating that shit. If you're a dude, if you're a heterosexual man in Los Angeles and you're not DMing Sky right now, then I question your heterosexuality because yes, please. That's, that, story, She's single. that story just made it sound so achievable. And I know when I was single, that was what I was all about is like, I want a girl who seems like she would actually let me fuck. And the homies. And AD. If and you're a nice guy, guy, I'm into you. I like nice guys. So that's all you need. Communally. That's all you need. Like all, right. That's like, all you need. So Just to be nice. Great. I also have to admit I am into broke dudes. <laughs> Everyone I've ever dated is extremely broke. Like I am the sugar mama. Like Yeah, I, I heard that your last yeah. nigga said that his family was gonna cut him off. Yeah, so. no, so my last yeah. boyfriend, he didn't even have a job. I paid him to like stay home and do my laundry and clean up after me after I do like OnlyFans shit. That's, that's the greatest though. Know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> But listen, I realize that that's probably not the best, you know, way to be. So I am looking for men <laughs> that are, right, like half decent. Yeah. Would like, you would you fuck a guy with uh, if he was nice if he had a girlfriend? She probably um, has. The, you've been home wrecking since you've been single. No, right? I haven't. No? I do not home wreck. You don't no. like that. I like. I do not standards. home wreck. No. Hard limit. Oh, so you'll never you, step out. Never you agree with that? No, no you don't. I think, fucking... I, no, I think married men give the most I think, money. I don't oh know about God. home wrecking. It's just bad like karma because. Them, but yeah. Then when I get in a relationship, then I'm going to be cheated on because I mean, you're going to be cheated on anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because dudes enough, just ain't shit. I, not when you're Basically, into simps. Like yeah. I'm into men that worship me. So me too. I like that too. How do you feel about that? Do you know guys that you think would would worship Sky? Or but you know, simps still cheat. Sorry. Sims still cheat because I've You're dated right. one. You are they, right. Yeah, yeah, they do. Right. They do. I have good intuition, though. Okay. Allegedly. <laughs> How long did the game bang take in total? And did any of them wrap it up? Yeah, they all wrapped it up. That's very important well, for me. She, yeah. has to, she has to say yeah. that because me and, and her the, are supposed the, to do content small. next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it lasted maybe like half an hour. Solid time. I enjoyed sucking all of their dicks, though. That was, like, the best part. Like, I loved, like, going from one dick to the next. Was it two or three? It was four of them. <laughs> what a spa day. <laughs> Kazumi, what, 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 what emotions does that bring out in you? Kazumi. So take the mic. Take the mic. Don't talk unless you have the mic. I just... Uh, Dude, gangbangs are lit, bro. They are. Like they are truly the best thing ever. I hope every consensual woman that wants that to happen, <laughs> you know, <laughs> lets that happen to her because I feel like I've seen Jesus. I am like an awakened woman. I don't you know, think Jesus I'm- wants us to see that. <laughs> Jesus has nothing to do with you. Pr- you pray to somebody else. <laughs> you pray to my God. Oh, Jesus crazy. wants nothing to do with this. <laughs> I Jesus said, nah, Jesus. hold on. <laughs> Jesus just texted me and said, leave me the fuck out of this. <laughs> Dear Lord. Hey, so yeah. hold on. Um, doing my research on you or whatever, you, just being no, no jumper or whatever the case may be, you like getting niggas for their money or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But uh, Bounty hunter. Yeah. I mean, has a nigga ever paid you or did anything to Have you ever got game bang before? No. Ew, what? No. I mean, respectfully, She's no. She's stifled, no, no, no. if anything. But if it was the right price, would you do it? No. 
Why? Sky is a wild child. million dollars? It's the great. I don't know. I'm not into it. I mean, I would have to like live with that on my conscience. Like, you know what I mean? And I just don't feel like it's worth it. But you're treating fucking a bunch of guys in a row like it's like shooting up a school. And I just don't think it is. It's like, it's, it's, I mean, but what's the goal? Is the goal money? Sky has no guilt. Sky just had a good time. I I still have morals. Like, you know what I mean? But where's your moral compass? Stop. If you like getting niggas for money, that's what you like to do. I mean, no, I mean, if the goal is to get money, get the money. It's not that I like getting niggas for money. I mean, I know where I fit in in the business that I'm in. You know what I mean? Like, what business you in? Um, the business that, that men, men that like women, like they gonna give me the money. You know what I mean? No, men I'm saying what to... business though? Um, I yoga. Work in nightlife. I work in nightlife. Yoga. <laughs> I work in nightlife. So the okay, club, okay, yeah, yeah. You know she's I mean? a bartender. Well, listen, I was, I'm trying to ask her and yeah. understand what business she's in. <laughs> I know. That's yeah, why I so I work in nightlife in New York. Um, okay. you work at Starlets? Shout out to Starlets. I'm gonna start See? there next week. Period. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I'm not doing gang bangs. Like no, not even for a million dollars. I'm not doing gang bangs. I feel like niggas don't deserve that. Twenty million. I'm good. Twenty. Okay. To I'm be like, fair. Twenty. Is <laughs> to be fair, like two months ago, two three months ago, I never would have thought I would do a gang bang. But then you met. So Adam, you I just had an awakening when I met. <laughs> When I met everyone at No Jumper, I just... Not everybody. I just tell you that shit. <laughs> <laughs> this shit go crashing down. I was right here. He don't me even and, have an OnlyFans hey, login. Me, me and Jesus was here on the couch. We were, we were not doing He that. thinks he's Kevin Samuels now. He's fucking Dr. Hey, Umar. Not, he's protesting this shit. I feel like No Jumper could not make me do a gangbang. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, you just got to hang out longer. No, I don't think so. I, I'm from the hood. We don't play that. Yeah, It's not for everyone. But she has yeah. a different perspective because she's from the country... So she don't have the like stigma. They don't even know about gangbangs oh, yeah. out there, you know. They know Everything about you do in the hood, you a hoe. Like you wear yeah. your shorts, you a hoe. You I'm, know what I mean? So you have that in the back of your head already. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be invited to my high school reunion after that. Oh, you're gonna be I'm invited, invited. Invite and the teachers, invite, Mr. Invite. Lewis, and everybody's gonna be lining up to get their dicks up. <laughs> Pastor they Williams gonna be, right gonna be there, there too. <laughs> no, okay, Kazumi, I have a question though. Is like, okay, so we have. The white perspective, which is sexually liberated, <laughs> I'll fuck a whole crew, whatever. Then we have, I don't know if I should say black, but you are. You gonna say color? She's Go black ahead, enough nigga. that she says the n word. So I'm gonna. I guess you're the black perspective, which is hell no. That shit's disrespectful. I don't fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Then we have the in between, the, the well, Philippine American perspective. In between, bro. Stop Asian Game hate. I don't know more in between Philippine. Ooh. That was more. <laughs> But, so uh, you 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 fall on Sky's side where you you yeah. don't have that sort of built-in group sex dynamic oh, shame. Yeah, I, I just feel like the difference between us that I noticed is that she, her, and Eliza both said that they didn't want to like be like have feelings. So this is why like they they detach themselves from sex. You know what I mean? Mm. Which is different from me. Where, me? Like, Do you uh, agree with you that? Had said that? Oh no 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 no. That makes oh, a lot no, of sense. She, her, she had said that. Sorry. Oh. I mean, like. As a sex worker, I'm going to go into some real facts. As a sex worker, I'm selling my assets, not myself, right? And also, I just do gangbangs because they're fun. And it's not like my whole personality. It's not like I do it every day. I do it like once, like a month, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you know, like 20 dudes one night. That's cool. It's like my, my, my body count for the, for the month, whatever. What the um, fuck? Like your body count <laughs> is like a checklist that you have to get done? <laughs> but it's like, it, it just, it's not like I don't have my feelings attached. It's just like... it is not part of my self-worth or my self-confidence. But I personally just don't put my attachment to sex like that. Mm-hmm. It's totally cool if other people, it means more to them, but it just, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a task I do with me. Can I ask you a question? Cause so you, you pay for your boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? Y'all went to a brothel, did this, 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 but did this, did that. But um, is there any point in a relationship where you be like, you know what, you a fucking cheater. You know what I'm saying? What um, would you have to do? My boyfriend and I are swingers, um, but we do have like um, like fluid pom- bond, so he can go we, out and do what the fuck he wants to do. As long as we communicate, but we have like a really healthy relationship. So they Every have brand a fluid single. Bond. Yeah. So I'm just curious, how do you know that like he really fuck with you? You know what I mean? Like how I would know is like a nigga spend his bread on me. That's how I know you really like me. <laughs> like, how do you know? That's your know type, really AD. You. That's you know? the type of bitch you're talking about. <laughs> that you're pay- you talking you're about? paying for her to not go into work the next day <laughs> exactly. and shit. I love that's that. your whole time. No, 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 no. no. That, that is not it. It's a, it's a difference. Love that. You're turning She's your back getting... on your original argument. No, 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 no. I no, 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 no. Yes, she that. loves it's the a thing that you said you do. It's a difference about being finessed and a difference with the other way. But what I'm saying. Finesse, my man too. Like, I no, like, this is, money, this is, this is what I said. Now, if you a small town girl in a small town world. Uh-huh. And you working maybe getting two hundred dollars the next day, <laughs> and I want you to chill with me for the night. We ain't even got a fuck. I just want you to look at me like a boss. You feel me? I'm gonna give you double what you got, 
And then we can chill and hang out and so drink. So you're not you giving me 10 bands for missing work. That's the double what I'm I got. I'm not giving you oh, 10 bands for shit. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> well, listen. You he, better give me 10 bands. AD, AD <laughs> might not be able to afford Blue Jasmine style oh, pussy I definitely, ass. I can <laughs> definitely <laughs> afford <laughs> it. She's saying it ain't $200 for her to not go into and work. So saying, you can't I mean, afford it. But no disrespect. What am I getting for the 10 grand? It ain't Pussy, I can get pussy all day. You just said double. You don't have to fuck. You said double of what you make at Well, you work. if you work in that Starbucks, then you definitely can get 10 grand that night. So I can't say nothing about that. He's met his if, match. If I give a <laughs> bitch, my fucking hey, match. if I give a bitch ten grand and she come back in the house, you know what I'm saying, or twenty grand, thirty grand, and she come back in the house looking subpar mid, you feel me? Hair not done, lashes, makeup, shoes, a whole little nine. Are you paying for her lashes? Yeah, I, you, if I'm giving you money, man. bitch, you better come in here looking crazy. You I'm know what I'm saying? I'm getting a lace and front. <laughs> yeah, and half the time I be half the time I be listen. Half the time, girls, you talking about giving me money? You know what I'm saying? I'll be looking at them. I'll be like, well, what the yeah. fuck you doing with the money? Because you look crazy right now. <laughs> mm. That is true. Like it's a, it's a crazy new world we live in where a girl can have a BBL and be working at Target. <laughs> Because it's bitch, like, what are you doing with my money? Because you look crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And but, then there's a lot of bitches that say they get money, they ain't really getting no money. Ooh. Do, would you agree with that? It's a lot of bitches that say. Bitches? I mean, I know the niggas that say they get money, they don't really get money. I don't know females. No, I'm talking about bitches that be like, I get niggas some money, I get niggas some money. A lot of bitches don't get money from niggas. Like, they, get, mean, they get fucked in dinners, you feel me? I think it goes both and ways. Some hills. Dudes don't be really you getting money like they say they do. Yeah, oh, yeah, for that, sure. I think that's the, you know, I feel like females don't even care to stunt that they get money unless you're an alpha female. You know what I mean? It's very rare that a female What's an cares alpha female? to stunt. Um, <laughs> a woman that has masculine energy as well. You know what Men I mean? Men don't like women with masculine energy. It depends on how, when you turn it on and when you turn it off. Nah. Don't turn it on. Don't turn it on. <laughs> he likes to be don't in charge. I mean, he likes to be so in charge. That's why he don't go after no boss bitches. You ain't never try to wife up no cash <laughs> yeah, doll. Fuck, he finds a girl who will keep her mouth shut and no, let him do bro, his toxic know, shit. You don't, I, I you don't know what bitches I done fucked with. <laughs> I, you're right, I don't. But I, I, I but see the way. But you stay away from cash doll. But he's That's not. Homegirl. He's not dating aspirationally. He, he, he's just kind of finding his you groove. You don't know he's what I date. You don't know what I date. <laughs> abstract concept. How would you, how would you say that if you don't know? I haven't. Well, seen, you don't date boss bitches. I think that you don't like outside every women. bitch I deal with has some type of money, some type of shit going on. You're scared on. of being single. I, that's true too. I don't like. I don't like <laughs> that's true though. He I'm like, he I'm, can't be t- in a, out of a relationship for more than a week. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a real like uh, a relationship hoe. Yeah, a teddy bear though. Like I like to like you know I like to be held at night. You know Me I like too. to be rocked to sleep and Me shit too. like that. You exactly. know what I'm, I'm a big baby. So Me I'm too. like that. I'm, I'm a big not. baby when it comes down. See, to Skylar that. wants to be both gang banged and cuddled. <laughs> yeah. So By like all four of them. So hold for on, Skylar. Me. Hold on, Skylar. Be, yeah. Because yeah, it's all three perspective. I got one. Well, two. Well, because you you on the you on a different level. What's a boss? <laughs> well, like what makes you a boss bitch? Bars. You talking about me? I want to know. Well, from she's, all three of y'all. she's built a successful. Bu- well, I was talking with Skylar and I her because they're OnlyFans girls, but they built a successful I business mean, off their social media, right? Yeah. I mean, two months ago, I was working at Target, and I'm here now. Like, I live in Hollywood. I've met amazing people. Yeah, I make money now. Kazumi, we can't fucking hear you unless you're talking to the mic. Respect money. to our troops. Thank you for your Target yes. service. Shout out Target. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Salute the big red dog. <laughs> Not Clifford. But uh, yeah, she's doing quite well for herself, and it is kind of weird. Do you feel like you get a lot of resentment from dudes, simp's who see, who kind of know that you're like in a position where you don't like, you're not going to be easily impressed by them? Um, that's the thing, though. I am easily impressed by dudes as I long as they're that. nice. I love it. As long as they're nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but listen, I'm I from like that about you. I'm from a small town, so there are no dudes that are getting money and like have like that mm, sort of status. Like mm. there really are just normal dudes that work normal jobs. Like so, really niceness is all I've had to go off of my whole life. But now being in LA, it's a lot different. I have dudes hitting me up with money and like a status and whatnot. But how how's that working out for you? Because the dudes that you banged out in the gangbang situation sound like they were kind of like regular guys. Yeah, they're you know? regular guys i have talked to like a few that are maybe not so regular that have like a little bit of like they got lambo trucks (laughs) yeah something like that (laughs) (laughs) would you ever would you ever fuck a guy like you see him you like you know what this nigga ain't getting no pussy he might not never get no pussy let me go over there and i like giving sympathy pussy like (laughs) (laughs) bars i have an ugly bastard king too i know i'm like (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm an awful representation for the woman, but sometimes I like fucking an ugly dude who sucks because oh, we know tons right, of them. I wow. like I get off on knowing like that is gonna be like a moment they never forget. Like that is going to rock their world. So See, that's the why game I usually go is for yeah. There's no reason that you can't get no pussy out here, guys. <laughs> yeah. There's that. Yeah, I like a good supportive man. You know, I feel like any man can buy me a Lamborghini, but I could also buy my own Lamborghini. Any man could buy me a Lamborghini. I mean, like, Do you know I how mean, much like, money the average man Lamborghini. has in the bank? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't about to buy a Lamborghini. Yeah. Well, I am no. not buying you a Lamborgini. I'm not buying buy you a subway. If a man buys you a Lamborghini, he really fuck with you. Like I don't lot. think a guy buying me anything means that he likes me at all. Um, I don't think a, that if I buy okay. if a guy buys a girl a Lamborghini, could it mean that they really like fuck with him? Okay, maybe. But you don't I, take that shit I don't back. think it necessarily <laughs> means that. I think if you met Shaq and he offered to buy you a fucking half a million dollar car, I don't think that means that he really likes you. I think that means that he's got a weird ass fetish where he wants to buy girls shit. Yeah, totally relatable. I don't know. I really, I think that they must fuck with you on some type of level in that moment, even if it's your vibe, even if it's, they like you for that day or whatever the fuck I it is. Obviously, every level of money is different, but they have to fuck with you on some type of level to buy you something. I just want you guys to all realize that you are able to manipulate these stupid motherfuckers <laughs> because you're young and hot. And it's gonna go you away. You sound one like day. one of the bitches now. No, I'm a salty grandpa. You was a real simp. This week is like. I crazy. speak for the angry manipulate man. Manipulate me. How is that sipping? I'm reminding them of the fucking. You got girls. You need to. Limit. You need to manipulate these guys and what what. I think it's just a case of different love languages. For me, like gifts, like receiving gifts is not really a thing that like shows me support or love in any way. I really appreciate like words of affirmation and gangbangs. So what about you know? when you were broke? <laughs> what about when you were I, broke? I, I fought with that. You know, even when I was broke, I feel like I was a giver. You know, I felt like I always did things for my men, even with no money. And that's the same case for the men that I may be interested in now. Even if they don't have enough money to buy me a Rolls Royce, they could still be supportive in other ways. And they could buy you a Toyota. You know? Yeah. I wonder how people feel watching this because it feels like you guys are from another planet sometimes yeah. with the way that you're talking. I, I'm here too. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, hold on, these porn stars, they, they crazy, but they want Toyotas. <laughs> I mean, I, goddamn. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm Because gonna... on all these other podcast you got like kevin samuels and he's talking about how you know men can't get no pussy because the girls just want to go to miami and fuck the rich billionaires with the yachts and shit and these girls are just kind of like nah we got millions of dollars and we don't give a fuck we're yeah, fucking but, but race race has a, <laughs> race has good. a lot to do with it because black women ain't going for that shit mostly Real. As you can see, Blue Jasmine don't want to go for none of this bullshit. I no. mean, if, if you lead with money, then I'm going to think you're about money, and that's how you're going to show me love. So we're going to talk about money. But if you're not leading with money, then we can talk about real things. I don't think things. it's about money. I think, you know, men are providers, and they naturally use their time to make money. So when a man gives you his money, that's like a part of his time, a part of his life, you know? I feel like that's mm -hmm. what men value naturally as a, you know, alpha men, the type of men that I like to date. So yeah. I feel like that's what they value. They value their time. They value, you know? Yeah, but I also feel like there's other ways they would just show me their time and their support. <laughs> and I feel like that's what creates a real relationship. I want beyond real time, sex, and I want the time money. that you made that money. Like, yeah. <laughs> I want that money that you Go made crazy. with that time. So, you, so, so for you, what's your end goal in life? What you mean? I mean, like your end goal because you work at Starlet, you getting niggas for money. You, you're, you're, you're nice. She's an angry really like bartender. Get, like, like what is your end goal? Like, I'm not you getting. gotta peep her Instagram story it every night because she up. works <laughs> at the fucking as a bartender. It was one. The dudes come in, say creepy shit to her. She goes on her Instagram story and writes these fucking and paragraphs. So like you pieces they, of yeah, shit. Because, ah, they know, because it's like they know me from like the internet, so they think like you know what I mean. They approach me with anger, like from, if they disagree, and then they're like, "Why are you here? If you make money, like why are you here?" to make more money what the fuck it's cool to see the cause and effect like she's kind of hyped going into work and then she gets off work and she's pissed nah but bro bro said what's the end goal and then goal? all the niggas with money hit me up like oh what happened that's when mm. Batman couple hit me up actually you gotta get I'm in his gonna pockets lie. he actually I'm gonna show you he actually replied to that angry text like he was like 100 like it was a fact no, nah, like, but he said, said he said, "What's the date. end goal, though? Because you know, like, you're not gonna look the same way you look in 20 years from I now." I mean, I need like two facelifts and maybe like a nose job. <laughs> 50, but I'm gonna try to keep up. When, you know what I mean? When you're 50, when you're 50, 60, like, what what do you picture yourself? She's gonna doing? have a whole chain of nail salons, so she won't Period. have to worry about finesse. Why she gotta man? have nail salons? <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like no. I mean, do. obviously, I have three Airbnbs. I have other businesses. You know, that's not the only thing that I do. I just don't promote everything that I do because I live in New York, and it's like dangerous to say like you have all this money. Because I, I, I heard you know Brittany. I want to know. But, do, do you guys agree with this? We, we were, had Brittany Renner on the show the other day. I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but she said that basically right now she's young and beautiful and popular and her goal is to take that and turn it into some 
you know, potential businesses and mm -hmm. opportunities that will still exist and work once she is no longer so young and beautiful, mm -hmm. which I thought was pretty smart. Definitely. You know, I think more girls should be thinking about it that way. How do you guys think about that? I mean, I feel like that's what I'm doing, running an OnlyFans. Like, I know I'm not going to look like this forever. So it's like, take advantage of the way I look now and just get the ball rolling, use the money that I make, start something, you know, more long term. Um, yeah, I'm also not really a flexor either. So all my OnlyFans money, and I'm making a lot of OnlyFans money, is we going know, into we, yeah, know. we know, just saying, <laughs> it's going into real estate and um, just in my brokerage. So right now Bars. I'm just kind of, I mean, I you know I didn't really come from money, so I know that this money is scarce, right? Because even though when I'm like 57, I can still sell my 18 year old nudes because an 18 year old Asian <laughs> chick getting fucked really hard by a million dudes will always <laughs> you know, dudes. so that money would not residuals forever. Right? But you know what? I, I, I have a really good idea for you. Is I think that you you know how they have battered women's shelters? Yeah. <laughs> I think you should start a battered simp shelter battered, where I'll take men, care of them. Men who have been dejected and rejected by women and also men who have been beaten up by women can go and live there. You can go. You'll give them pussy. You can feed them. You can give some cookies, you know, whatever. Feed them this, cookies. this is a nice plug talk. You can have them come on, talk to some simps, and fuck them right there like after the, the interview. This is a brilliant idea. I Kazumi, take a virginity. Kazumi, I'm Me too. Uh, I'm, okay, we will get. That up? We're gonna yeah. talk more about that. That's a great idea. But <laughs> you see the race barriers. You, you know, yeah. blue <laughs> jazz was over here like Kazumi. <laughs> Kazumi, let's think about this. You know how Blueface has his house full of girls. Yeah. You I should have with a house, house full, full of simps. Of simps. <gasps> My friend that'd has be, a house full funny. of simps, but they're all like her little slaves, and they like wash her. Slaves? Yeah. Well, you know. She always <laughs> does that. <laughs> they're, they're all her little... Oh, no. They're like lifestyle oh, slaves, no. so they get off on cleaning and shit. And, What's like, a lifestyle her. simp? It's like, you know where it's like your whole life is based around like worshipping me and like cleaning my laundry and like what, driving that. me around, right? Where the fuck are these people no at? Money. Yeah, they I want that. They, like, she doesn't oh, no, pay... No, as in she doesn't pay them to like serve her. They just do it because they love and then she like locks them in the closet. That's like a cult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lock them in, in the closet. closet. Yeah. They do them like Dobby and shit. <laughs> That's wow. fucked up. What a world. It, if it's what they want, I'm here to give the people what they want. Right. If you want to be locked in the closet, we'll do that. I want to be a dog. Yeah. Put Art. the dog suit on and just, <laughs> just go around. Like, like Jenna? <laughs> like Jenna? You're going you're gonna to be on the leash drinking out the water bowl and shit? I just want to say fuck it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this dude? Um, oh, yo, I want to bring up a, an interesting dynamic that exists that I'm not sure that you guys are, are thinking about, which is that Sky is being managed by the Adam and Lena Conglomerate Corporation, now known as Plug Talk <laughs> Management. Yay! Sky, can you tell us about how it's been, and can you assure my, my guy AD here that there hasn't been any R. Kelly business? So I was, <laughs> I can't lie, I was kind of nervous getting into it because you joke about the Meg the Stallion deal like way too much. <laughs> oh so I was God. like, fuck, is that what I'm getting Sick myself nigga. into? I always say that. I always say that. Right, so oh you can see why God. I was a little scared, but it's been amazing so far. It's, it's not it's awesome. Stallion deal either. We take a very reasonable percentage. Right. There's right. a lot of OnlyFans managers taking crazy ass percentages, and we are not. Right. It's really, very fair. Yeah. And so uh, we did the target scene. T tell me, how nervous were you before the threesome? Um, I was, I mean, not like crippling nervous, but it was my first threesome. Crippin so I huh? was like, it wasn't like shaking, like, oh, I, I, fuck, I don't, I hope I know what to do, but. Um, it went pretty smoothly. Was you it? guys made me feel very comfortable. I have a real question. Yeah. Did Adam smell when you guys were doing this thing? <laughs> no. Okay. No, he didn't. You like you? No, no. She. Hey, hey. She got in the contract. That's why in her contract you must not say I. Stink. She has no sense of smell. How many showers do you think he takes a week? Um. At least three. Upwards of six. He didn't shower. That's why I said. It's in the contract. He didn't shower for that scene. You I went, get like bird bath type vibes from you like just wash your balls off in the sink <laughs> you look like a baby wipe type of guy <laughs> no a dude wipe <laughs> there's dude wipes in the bathroom they're coming at you I got a loofah and an axe body spray in my trunk <laughs> scrub it in bath, nigga. <laughs> When I was yeah, in high school, I know this is going to sound really racist, but when I was in high school, we called it a Puerto Rican shower. 
Why would you say that? Well, I'm just saying. That's called, like what it was I'm like. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm part Puerto Rican. That is what it's called. Yeah, see, yeah, like you, you would take like perfume and just spray it on your armpits and stuff, and that's <laughs> how you got clean. Well, you ain't Puerto Rican, nigga. I know. Jump in the tub. <laughs> I'm just saying. It seems really racist in retrospect, but that's what we call it. And see, she can confirm, too. So, oh, so you can speak Spanish? Mm-hmm. You be getting all the Puerto Ricans in New York. Soy la 69. The Puerto, oh. Ricans. That one. The Puerto Ricans in New York don't even speak Spanish. Really? Yeah. They do the Dominicans right? are Dominicans. They're too proud? No, they just don't know it. They're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. Just saying. <laughs> They're dumb, she just says. Saying. Wow. But, um, okay, so, Sky, mm-hmm. you're in the biz. Yes. How's life changing, man? Like, fucking everything's different now. It's amazing. Um, I feel like I fit in here a lot better than I did being from a small town, the mm. only girl that does OnlyFans. Um, I will say it's kind of been difficult making friends. Like, mm. I know a lot of people. I'm cool with a lot of people, but, like, genuine friendships have niggas. been... Who will be your friends? I'll be your friend. Who? Yeah. Just the spa Ball niggas. niggas. <laughs> oh, the spa. <laughs> but see, I feel like every time I hang out with them now, it'll turn into a gangbang, and like sometimes I'm just not in the mood for that. Yeah, you should probably like hit them with a notice before you go over. Like, hey, just so you know, I'm no not feeling sex the gangbang. Tonight. Tonight. They're going to say the spa's broken. Yeah. <laughs> no, but. I don't think it's your fault. I, I, yeah. I don't think it's your fault, I'll flaunt, invite though. you next time. But we do. We yeah. hear a lot about post not clarity. Did you feel like they were looking at you different after they all ran through you? Or do you feel uh, like- not at all. They still all yeah, hit me up. up. The one was like, when do I get to take you on a date? The other one yesterday was trying to take me to Malibu. Oh, they fire. Yeah. That's one sick. thing I get a lot with dudes like subscribing to my OnlyFans is they say, like, I don't have any post not clarity with you. Really? And I'm like, that's such an amazing compliment. So powerful. Right. She's wow. fire. <laughs> that is an amazing compliment. And I wish that I had thought of that a long time ago because I could totally see myself saying that to a girl and having her right. just be like, oh, yeah. that's such a great compliment. Oh, it's so romantic. That's <laughs> like when, remember, remember your pickup line that you told me that T Grizzly uh, used? Oh, the pizza one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? <laughs> I'm, how would you feel if a dude said this to you? Like, what was it? He's talking to a girl. He tells her, I think I love you. She says, you don't even know me. He goes, well, I love pizza. I don't really know what's in pizza. I don't know how to make pizza. I couldn't describe to you how to make a pizza, but I know that I love pizza. Bars. I, w- I would like that. Yeah. You seem like the type who would fall for that stupid shit. Yeah, yeah it's a- <laughs> I'm, just- I'm working on it, though. I'm trying to be less I'm like, naive. Hey, Sky, the, the spa is open tonight. Uh- <laughs> I'll be there. Can you help me clean it? I once did a gangbang, and afterwards, all eight of them took me out to dinner, and it was like the last supper. Like we were all on one really long table, and it was all dudes and just me. Well, you deserved it. Yeah. You served him first. <laughs> afterwards, I feel like I would not be That's able so to go high. out to eat with you after the gangbang unless I was planning on banging you again after I got my energy back up through the food. Yeah. <laughs> would you be down for that, like a before and after, and I then you eat Korean barbecue those... in between? <laughs> I don't have like sex sandwiches like that, honestly. Like it's like sex first, then date after, because that's how I would know I would like you like if we're actually hanging out afterwards well, when we hooked up it was kind of lit because we we're in a nice hotel room so we hook up one time then I raid the fucking mini bar I eat a whole bunch of random different snacks I paid snacks. for the mini bar I left her $100 on the Gee, counter because bitch. I felt bad about eating so much <laughs> random food and then we hooked up again so I got this nice refill of like the carbs and stuff I had to wait for a fucking burger to come or some shit I forget what I ordered but, you know, it was kind of a nice vibe. We got to do the two-for-one special. You know? And he threw $100 at me. Then he left. And she clearly loved it because that's her love language. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, when, when, when did you realize you should start doing porn? Like, you know what? I'm going to take this shit serious. I've always been a slut, bro. Like... <laughs> Dude, I've been doing, like, I used to throw my own sex club when I was 19. Like, I would invite a bunch of homies, guys and girls, over every Friday, and we would just have a bunch of cool sex and then vibe and then eat the sandwiches real Mickey together. Mouse club. You know what I mean? And then, like, you know what I mean? Where are you, you, where are you from? Huh? L.A. Yeah. Bro, this LA is... behavior. What set you claim? This <laughs> is the first, uh, this is our first Patreon we did, and I was blown away by the stories that she told us. Like, literally her birth... Can you tell them the birthday story, please? Oh, my birthday? Where yes. I turned into a cake? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if that was the, the craziest one, but basically, like, I got all my... Fr- I love attention. <laughs> I'm a huge narcissist. So I got all my friends to watch me... Playboy like, party. Stri- like, strip down naked, and this woman, like, dumped cake batter. Just, like, it's such a weird story. Why this one? Cake batter? But, but they, like... And then they, like, cracked eggs all over my body, and then they 
set fire to me, and then they like got a knife and turned me into a cake, and, and then that's they why it sounds cake crazy. But I mean, it's not like even like a sexual story. It's just like a, it's like my birthday. You guys know what? <laughs> my what? coworkers were there. But she, but you showed me the video because I was like, I was "There's kidding. no way this Dude, shit is so real." Stupid. Like, <laughs> no, they're like lighting her on fire. She's like this, like that's she's not. happy. <laughs> can I tell she's you? So happy. Can I tell you the new the new cake story? Okay, so. Sky, my girl, this was her idea. She said, for, Yummy. for your birthday, how do you feel about four OnlyFans? Me and Sky give you head together with a cake. So like, they're going to actually like do a cake smash. You're going to do the cake booty smash jump. of your ass? I don't know exactly. Like, what, what, what are your plans for this? Have you thought about this much? <laughs> All I know is there's going to be cake. Yeah, and other and than that, I'm down for whatever. And is it dick. Adam's cake or like? Mm, no, although if you want to get in there, I do. Oh. I, I have had a little hemorrhoid for a while now. I know Sky's into that. I'm Sky, you're going to get a sty. As long as you actually shower before and it's not like a yes. bird bath. I'll have AD stage. wait outside no, the shower no, no, and make. No, no, no. He will certify me as no, clean. No, I'm going to be at the spa. I'm going to okay, be clean. T Rail can do it. I'm going to be at the spa. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just like really excited about that. When I heard that idea, it just it appealed to me so much. I, and I don't even want to eat the cake because I'm on a diet right now. But just the idea of you guys, bro, you eat a cake, cake off of your fucking dick, you would be sick, <laughs> fuck. And I'm not working here no more. Do you really think that I could reach a cake on my dick? With that, you think <laughs> <laughs> like it would have to be a huge tower of cake? We'll feed it to you. Oh no, I want to oh. see you guys with cake smashed all over your butts and or faces while we're doing this. Oh, like, yeah. like I love, but the mental idea of them just being fucking covered in cake. That's pretty cool to me. I don't know. Right. I was I don't drink no more. Why hey, do you tequila? Hey, hey, do you know Jesus you Christ. do you know working at Starlight, you kinda dibbling and dabbling and hoeing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he you loves mind. to tell a girl she a hoe. <laughs> No, you know you got this one is his whole in, style. One foot out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might as well just. Hey, hey that's, why, well, that's why I don't like you right now. You might as well just go to Kazumi round, just get the bread. Are you crazy? But we were kind of just having that conversation with her because we're we're thinking of working together with Blue Jasmine on her OnlyFans and everything. And I think you gonna could, fuck Adam? No, I'll do girl on girl stuff like soft porn, like you know oil rub titty. Me you know, too. You about to lose your contract? You said the wrong thing. They want to eat you out on the internet. Are you not down? Yeah, I'm, I'm down. Good. But I, yeah, Ooh. they can eat me out. But I'm just gonna stay there. Like, but what is it? What is it? So you, you're talking about I'm like, down, oh, I'm down. I'll do the blowjob scene. We could do this. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. I didn't say nothing about that. But I what? No, 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 no. That's what. That's the point I'm making. Oh, okay. She's saying like, oh, we could do stuff with dildos and toys and stuff. But for some reason, there's something about a dick that you just don't really want to put out there. Um, I feel like I would do soft stuff. I wouldn't. I don't even know if I would show my pussy. My dick's soft sometimes, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming all of our I dicks are soft. I feel like I would show my actual, but like you know, if they wanted to eat me, I could show the back of their heads, me sitting there. You know what I mean? But I just like it's just too so much. Like it's There's intense. Beauty That's and implied intense. work. Yeah, it's a intense. lot of girls do that. So yeah, That's cool. I'm open to it. I just you know. It's every girl has. You done hurt his feelings now. <laughs> no, that nigga is bummed. Every girl has what they're they comfortable with. Dick, it just so, it just so turns out with Sky, she's comfortable with everything, and she's just will, she was willing to dive in. I haven't done anal yet, though. That's. Have you been working on stretching it out? Uh, yeah, I've been using like butt plugs. I did a my first girl girl scene on my OnlyFans with this girl named Stella Berry. Ooh. She was awesome. She's super into butt stuff. We f played with each other's assholes a lot. Um, that was super fun. But I'm waiting. I'm trying to build up the suspension for suspense 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 Suspensions for doing my first car. anal scene <laughs> i don't have an anal scene i just you have, haven't done any i just have doggy scenes where i say it's anal oh, okay oh you're, so, you're such a liar stop telling you the people expose. that you're lying <laughs> she's just hoping that they don't make the connection yeah. damn <laughs> brutal okay t Rail, i'm gonna turn to you now I know you have many, many hoe questions. I know this is a very foreign world to you. You look curious. He was a virgin for much of his life. <laughs> now he's out here with me on the couch. That sounds terrible. What do you want to ask? <laughs> what's, what, what, what's racking your brain, my friend? Shit racking my brain. I just asked all the fucking questions, dog. Oh, he said I was God. dibbling, dabbling. I might as well just hold away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Talk about that more. Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, you are kind of dibbling, dabbling. And I've been in Starless a few times, man. A lot of girls that, that came out of there went that way. And then a lot of girls, you know what I'm saying, now they're doing the influencer route. Uh, and and they were talking like you. I'm gonna get the money from a nigga. Blah 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 blah. That's why I asked you the end goal. Like, what is your end goal? Do you want a family? Do you want a oh, nigga? Yeah, and all of, of that shit. Yeah, I want all it, of that. it don't seem like that. 
I want all of that. Obviously, you want somebody who take you out the game 100%. You know what I mean? Even if you have your own money, you still want to make more money, but you want a man to come and say, you don't ever, you know, in this moment, I got to do this because I'm going to give you everything. And your money's your money. Like, your money's your money to use for your nails, your hair, and all this other shit. And I'm going to pay for everything. You know what I mean? You don't think you're burning yourself out being on the internet like this? Because so, niggas you know, look, you know. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a niggas, little fucking up my shit a little bit, yeah. but you know what I mean? If I don't promote it too much on my right page, guy. then, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because niggas like mystery. You know that, right? I know. You know what I'm saying? They don't like to be like, oh, I want to deal with the, that girl. I don't want to be with the one that everybody seem like they dealing with and shit like that. But yeah. No, that's not true either. It's a competition too. Like, um, they want to see like who could really get her for real. You know what I mean? To fuck, really get... but not the wife. That's their business, whatever their end goal is. But my end goal is getting the bread. Do I want to kiss her or like? <laughs> Whoa. I was asking a question. <laughs> That's why I need. Some, I, I need felt some, the sexual uh, tension. I was like, I could walk. I need out. the tension. I, I need single co hosts <laughs> I need single co hosts so that the girls will have dudes to make out. I think. With. I think your end goal for all of us is to uh, all be single and just fuck and everybody in the office. office. <laughs> I love T Row. just want to fuck. I, I love T Row's relationship. <laughs> I like it. You remind me of Papoose. I feel like if your girl you done said went, I remind you of Papoose. You do, but I feel all like black if, people don't look the if, same. If your girl went down for six and a half years, I feel like you would hold it down. I believe that. And she's in the room, so you have to agree. I definitely will hold it down. But look, me and my girl. Look at that too, like. <laughs> she's I'm like, I, what I'm gonna do to you is way worse than them dudes in jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Come on, I'll, I'll hold it down. <laughs> hey, look, me and my girl have never had a threesome. You know what I'm saying? Give me, give, give some uh, relationship advice about uh, having threesomes and shit. Man. What, what, you, that's why he, that's that's why he that's brought you here. Are you pushing that's why he brought you here. Are you pushing her line? We know that she's hey, got baby, five million them. hot friends. I'm hey, sure hey. you've met five million of her hot friends. Hey, he like, hey, baby, you see them on the couch? They normal girls. They so good. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, baby, baby, I swear. What would you say to Ezra? If, if we spent some time inside of Kazumi together, I might love you even more. <laughs> That's It'll the kind of shit I'd be saying. It's like trauma bonding. You know what I mean? You'll be, you guys will be bonded forever. Mm. <laughs> That's the way to think of yeah. it. Who's supposed to actually initiate the threesome? Do the, the does the girl supposed to go out the and get woman. the girl? That's the bad news for you. Yes. I'm anti unicorn hunting actually because I've been a unicorn many times and sometimes the girl's like, "Come on, fuck my man." And I think she's cute. Then I see her man and he be looking like a freaking gargoyle. Like I'm like, "What the fuck, bro?" Like I want if you guys are equal, I like singlehood. Like I like one girl doing my own thing and then one guy and then or many guys, but not like threesome situations. Like unless you guys are both equally sexy. Like does your girl look like you? She right there, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you and me? You know. That was just <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that was kind of uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, come does on, she look yo. like you? Yeah, so basically, I'm ugly. You but know what I, I'm saying? I, I, That's all good. I love That's all she was saying, bro. <laughs> That's not she what I said. That. I love I how said. in your world, in her <laughs> world, it's like the guy has to be attractive for this. Because I feel like we talk to girls all the time who are talking about, I don't care if a guy's ugly. I don't care if he's chubby. I don't like a guy with a six pack, yada, yada. Which is like, okay, cool. But now you're deciding that all of a sudden for this threesome, the guy has to be a fucking hot body Chippendales model. <laughs> for, for a threesome, I'd like to, I like to both be, because I would say I'm like the, the, like the spectrum of gayness. I feel like I'm way more into dicks than girls. So like sometimes like with the girl, I'm like, we cool, but like the dude, I want to actually be like, you're sexy. So you, like, if you he want be a look, six pack. Yeah, uh, he don't. He could four pack is cool. So it, did what it do you look like without a shirt? It on? It bothered you that I got a belly. I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. So you ugly too. So we on the same level. Bro. I know. If she wanted to fuck with your girl. I got a big old fat gut, bro. I look like I've been eating fucking fast food my, my whole life. I like dad bods. That's what I'm into. See. She knows what to say. Love. I yeah, like I really that. I'm moving it towards that. That's like, that's, like, that's like something I'll die on. I'll be like, hot guys. I don't care how much money he makes. Is he hot? Like, because sometimes like my homegirls will be like, this is my boyfriend. And it'll be like looking like a pile of like crap on the floor. Like, but what bro, the fuck damn. is that? <laughs> like, be, being in shape. Crap. So, being in shape is kind of the whole thing when it yeah. comes to being hot for a guy. Because you could take a, a guy... And if he's in fucking ripped shape with Over a six, six pack, he, he's basically going to be considered hot. And then you take the same guy and you pack on 90 pounds of fat. Okay, he's considered a fat schlub that nobody's looking at like he's hot. That's kind of like, a, I'm not saying it's the whole thing because obviously there are guys who have like an attractive enough face that it doesn't matter. Oh, but when we're talking just looks, 
a guy kind of needs to be in really good shape for him to be considered attractive. Fat guys do not get that. Fat guys can get pussy and can be the object of women's attention, but it's almost always because they're famous or rich. rich. False. Rich. <laughs> I feel like chunky dudes like get it all the time. Who? AD. AD. I, I personally am oh, not dating no hot guys. AD. Yeah. AD is like a dad bod. I yeah, think it's AD. like you know I he's not like he's not pussy. in bad shape. I feel like a girl would look at my body and your body is kind of similar. Where it's like we're not in bad shape, <laughs> but we got a little Sorry, gut. Sorry. You know? <laughs> hey, we got different Sorry. body odors though. That's different. <laughs> you smell like Axe. <laughs> he smells like fucking Tommy oh, Hilfiger no, cologne. That's crazy, yo. I would pay for your uh, Arby's. Ooh. I would pay for it. He wants to take a look at your Arby's. <laughs> yeah. I see some Arby's the other day, and that wasn't it. Do you I, actually I, like Arby's? Hell yeah. yeah he, oh, I fought it. I made bit. t-shirts over this Well, he's show. mostly about bringing the black people of the world around to rally behind Arby's for, I don't know why, but for some reason, <laughs> that seems to be his thing. Hey, but look, but one thing I noticed they're doing, everybody's tagging me when they see Arby's, and now Arby's is posting promotion next to the No Jumper people. So they paying attention. So when I get that commercial oh, and I get that check, I don't want nobody to say nothing. I'm they never going to hear the no end of it. They reposting No Jumper fans? Huh? They reposting No Jumper fans? No, they doing like, when you see a No Jumper fans, you see like the paid tweets, like the promos and stuff, yeah. it ain't nothing but Arby's. Do you, do you think at Arby's HQ that there's ever been a meeting about like, AD. okay, what's up with this whole no jumper thing? They're like, who is this AD yeah. guy? I'm pretty sure that they know who the they fuck They do it a little is Google and they're like, nope, he's a savage. He's in the streets. We're not sponsoring <laughs> him, but we'll let him make the merch. Would you rather go on a date with me or get like a $200 like Arby's gift card? You, you my dog. You my dog, Izumi. So I, it's, it's a hard pick, but I got I to gotta go on a date with You know what? I, I love yeah. Izumi. How about this idea? How who about, the fuck keep calling me? God damn. How about we take Izumi to the stupid young hood in Long Beach with the Asian boys and she does a train with a bunch of like real deal gang members in the hood. Why are you asking me? Why don't you ask him? What that well, have to do I, I can bring her to my hood. As the a, homies will as gladly a crip, As a crip, I want approval. <laughs> Listen, I will bring you to my neighborhood. My homies will gladly line up Kazumi and... Would you be down to go to a real too. Asian gang hood in... <laughs> In Long Beach and do an actual game in, in the backyard <laughs> with a bunch of real gang members. I hope my cousins aren't in there. I mean, like that's like what Long Beach. That's part of the surprise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we might slip a cuzzo in there. Look, you can go to Compton. We'll take you to the back. We'll get you to the hole. It's very nice and safe, and you can do your thing. Stop trying to turn this into a Compton thing. We're talking about Long Beach, buddy. <laughs> you ain't from Long Beach. You from Hasbro Town. <laughs> uh, is my number a five six two number or not? I don't have Case closed. We you call me from your Arby's iCloud. And Case then move on from now there. let's start an Arby's. We can, I'm with that. <laughs> oh, if you guys want to we franchise an Arby's? Arby's is so stupid if they actually trust you guys with their brand. Why? <laughs> because you're going to make them look crazy. So, so you don't think it. I'm bringing, bringing awareness there's gonna to be Arby's a, in the black gonna community? There's going to be a gang banging back by the Arby's dumpster. Bathroom. There's going to be a fucking, you know, it's going to be a hood day every day. There's going to be all kinds of crazy <laughs> shit. But I'm saying, you don't think I bought awareness to Arby's at all in the black community? I know, but I also don't. If I was with Arby's, I'm going to be looking at you. You're like, you're a risky person to sponsor. Nigga, you hired me. <laughs> My brand, my it brand, I interview people Not who are Arby's. so much worse than you. Obviously. Like who? Uh, have, but you when seen, you have you seen my friend Crip Mac? No. <laughs> but when you met me, you thought me. about the same shit as me. And you got to know me, and then it was different. No, it was worse. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you, AD. You could be a, an Arby sponsor. Thank you. You're Kazumi. welcome. I think Arby's could use a rebranding and See? be perfect for it. Because everyone talks about how dead Arby's is. What? I think it's good. Not on my watch. Dude, Arby's is crap. Roast beef sandwich and Arby's cheese bought, on Arby's so bought Buffalo Wild Arby's Wings. I'm going to put that in perspective for wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, really? They bought it? Arby's <laughs> bought Buffalo Wild Wings. That's how much money they get. <laughs> Well, that's a pretty good argument right there, my friend. Arby's. Like, every cashier register should be, like, like naked. <laughs> yes, only hire hot girls. You're, she has such a one-track mind. <laughs> Everything goes back to some sort of, like, gangbang. So, <laughs> so where are you from again? I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And, Pennsylvania. And it's kind yes. of weird because me as her manager now, it's like I care about what she's doing. But I also kind of realize that if I'm too nosy or if I try to tell her what to do or whatever, that she's going to react just like any fucking, you know, young person. And that she's just not going to tell me shit or she's just going to, like, avoid me knowing about stuff. So it, it is very weird because I have to, like, really care about her well-being. 
but I, I don't really like necessarily know like where to interject. You do you, you pick up on this vibe? Oh, sometimes? I don't. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, when I said that I was single, you texted me. You were like, "So when are we going to hear about this breakup or something yeah, like Lena, that?" Yeah, because Lena's too shy to just hit you up about it. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna fucking ask her. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like it. It's nice. To be cared for. As Is a dad. Adam your daddy? No. Where, where are you getting it cracking in Pennsylvania? Like, how many was dudes I, like getting it cracking like fucking dudes over she here? She was doing what she could. Like, you know. How many dudes like was I fucking in like, Pennsylvania? Were you getting it like like were you fucking like, like out here in Los Angeles? In Not really. I'm very much like a relationship type girl, but between each relationship, I would have a little like hoe phase. Um, it was really like coming here like two months ago is what really like started my hoe phase because now I I just think it's so fun. She got a taste of the twenty two and yeah. it was all yeah. over, my friend. <laughs> that motherfucker mind been warped by the fumes. Mm. Right. What's, what's exactly a hoe phase? Like every night, a different dude hits me up, and I can just hang out with a different one every and, single night. And that's thrilling for a while, but then it gets old. It's nice because I I, I can't even remember the last time I paid for my dinner, mm. so I like that. But um, but does the hoe phase get old, and then you find yourself like you know what a little I, bit I, I because I'm looking for love in yeah. the midst of my hoe phase. Like I'm looking for a dude that can handle like the hoe in me, and like kind of just accept it for what it is and let me do me. But he has to be loyal. Right. Because, oh, he has to be loyal. <laughs> it sounds like the a game is fucked up. So what's it like? But, what, what's it like? Like, like you know, have you had like dudes that you've been hooking up with where mm -hmm. it's weird for them because they're like, oh, you have video on the internet of you fucking Adam? Honestly, and not really. Not Most yet. dudes are like, I feel like guys when they talk to me, they know who I am. Like they know what I do just because they can. It's pretty easy to tell based off my social media. So like, if you even start talking to me, I feel like you're kind of already like accepting of the fact that I do OnlyFans I fuck other dudes so mm, that's good yeah I, I, I just want to fuck too. I have another topic I want to bring up you had an, a, a tenuous encounter with Sharp on this mm -hmm. podcast it went very very Who's viral Sharp? I, I only saw your first one Sharp mm -hmm. is the uh, alleged ex-pimp from Vegas who we've been having doing some podcasts on here as well and you went to war with him mm -hmm. how is the resulting feedback then from your perspective oh, everybody loved me compared to the first time when like i feel like i didn't speak up for myself i wanted to be more ladylike and everything um everybody this time it was positive feedback like people were actually on my side i felt I like i read a lot of comments that were on his side as well oh really i mean from my personal instagram i didn't okay. really go there and read their comments but like what i was receiving where my other um interview it was like a lot of backlash like everyone hated me yeah, because, I mean, it was kind of weird because it felt like he sort of stopped short of, like, really giving you much, like, in-depth advice, which I yeah. I was trying to, like, urge him to at a certain point, and I know that, like, coming from the world he's from, he doesn't want to give the game away. No, he made no sense. I mean, he was telling me to get a business, to, like, get a business out of a man, but basically you're trying to make me work. I want to be kept, you know what I mean? Like, you're trying to tell me to go out there and take money to work like what no I'm, I, I make money from home but I want my man to like you know take care of me right. um, but yeah you've been very consistent about that I think y'all was talking about two different things that's when I was looking at it yeah I don't even know and then he was saying that I was half a hoe just like what you were saying that I should all the way hoe <laughs> and it was just confusing to me because it's like if I could get all the things that I get now without having to give up my self worth like why would I go be all well, the way he, hoe he, I'm good uh, he was saying, he was saying, basically, if you're going to do it, go all the way. Don't play with it. And you basically like, I don't want to go all the way. Yeah, so y'all was y'all was conflicting on the message that y'all. Like we have right here. We have three different girls who all are, you know, somewhat open minded in terms of how they put themselves out there. But they all have their own limit of how far they want to take it. And even with somebody like Sky, her limit of what she's willing to do has changed a lot, even in the course of the past month or two. <laughs> you know, who gives a fuck? Right. I actually, I actually, I actually was on your side during that sharp interview too. I'm like, damn, he was going hard at her. Thank but you, I appreciate it. Can I get a summary? Yeah, I feel like he was. I don't know. He was acting like a bitch. Like That's I just what feel you like get men. For not keeping up on our content. I feel like I feel like I feel like men in the. Wait, men we ain't portrayed. gonna diss. We ain't gonna diss a nigga. He ain't here to defend himself. Okay, but, but I feel we like can be respectful. We he'll be definitely respectful. respond next time he's here. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. he does a good job. He, I mean, he does a good job. He's that nigga. He, but he was going hard on you. He was he was getting frustrated. I'm like, damn, he he wanted to really say some other shit. But and I just feel like I'm if like you um promote yourself as like an alpha man like why are you arguing with a female like that's just very f female trait ish like to me like you know what i mean like get your point across and let me know what the fuck you're thinking let's communicate but um the way he was like yelling at me i was like yeah he's a bitch like, mm -hmm. what was the discourse <laughs> what does that mean oh, <laughs> like, like the, the conversation <laughs> oh um basically about if she's because she's not prostituting herself but she is you know 
dating a guy and expecting to get you know an apartment and a house or, or a car or whatever the fuck her mm-hmm. game plan is mm-hmm. and sharp is basically kind of like taking issue with that where it's like if you are going to be in this game you should be getting businesses out of dudes you should be getting this that and the other thing which is like okay that, that in an ideal world yes i'm sure she would love to be dating a guy who's going to give her a billion dollars in stock or some <laughs> shit sure all right but i mean you know she's doing a thing it's not like she knows you know bill gates or whoever he thinks is going to give her these opportunities so it was a little weird but you know <laughs> you, I, it's interesting because i'm putting like we're doing an episode soon where he's going to be speaking to sky and Woo-hoo. maybe Kazumi together, I I'll forget. Be there. Or, yeah, and so that's gonna be really interesting because that's gonna be different. I, you yeah. know, when, when he came in to talk to Blue Jasmine, I think he's like looking at her as an op right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Now I introduce him to Sky, and I'm like, "Yo, like, yeah, I'm her manager." So I, I know that Sharp really fucks with me and really respects me. So it's gonna be interesting to me to see how he conversates with her and even uh, Kazumi I'm like this is my yeah. actual friend I really fuck with her I don't know if I necessarily told him that about Blue Jasmine even though I now consider her my I friend don't, I don't think he, he's gonna he's gonna do that based on if you manage her or not I think I really wanna see his perspective on a girl who really getting money like what he's yeah. going what is he gonna say to her cause her foot is all the way stepped in ten toes <laughs> because she don't need a pimp you know me and Lena might be something of the sort. Yeah, I want to. It might be a similar business model, but like you know that that's kind of like the whole thing with him is like what the, he apparently doesn't respect the hustle that Blue Jasmine's doing. Fine, and, I, and you know what I said. But was what crazy? does he think about a, a couple of girls who are making six figures a month off of their fucking OnlyFans? Because it's hard for a guy to really hate on that because at the end of the day, that's good ass money for not doing all that much. You, you, know what I, you know what I think is crazy is that I feel like he was saying that um, like I'm not getting enough like there's a ceiling where I have a night where a guy could come fi- could throw like five or ten thousand dollars and I don't think that he has a girl that could sell her pussy one time for five or ten thousand dollars you get it so really he has a ceiling because mm-hmm. he has to have like multiple women to make what I can make off of one guy in one night right off of doing nothing like and standing behind a bar and twerking you know and I'm talking not, to him texting I'm not saying that he's still in that business or anything like that but I mean, OnlyFans has to be pretty like threatening to somebody who made their money in that traditional way mm-hmm. because it's much harder for you to really like interject yourself in between that when girls don't need like protection or whatever. Not that he's still doing that, but I feel like ideologically that might I don't know. I'm interested to see what he thinks of it. For like a percentage. That's a hustle. To the girls. Dudes is definitely answering messages. You can make an OnlyFans. <laughs> no. Actually, <laughs> I don't know what Yo, you were like. going in. Why are you calling him the F word at the end of shit? You were so mad. Me? Yes. Because he was acting like a female. Like a lot of things that he, ex- like the traits that, she, I feel like a man is not going to do that. She's it's like, weird. You, you look like you suck dick. Oh yeah, because he said I do GFE. He was saying like, and if I did Yeah, or whatever. And if I, I, I was did that, that was, was so a offensive. Like, if what, I, that's because not I don't offensive, do, right? If, because I don't do that. If right. I did that, I wouldn't care. I'd say like, yeah, I partake in that when I feel like it because it's me, you know, it's my body or whatever. But um, yeah, so he was putting stuff on me. So you get your ass eating and you suck dick. That's basically like you make a shit up about me. I'm gonna make shit up about you. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. Whenever people say females, I think they're saying femoids, and I'm like, <laughs> like what is going on in your brain? What the fuck is a femoid? The, the, those alien beings, those females. See, she's the type of person. Different. She's the type of person who watches anime and shit. <laughs> And thinks that everybody else knows about anime as much as she does. I watch anime. I don't know what a femoid is. Yeah. You look like you watch anime. He didn't know what heterosexual was until last <laughs> week. Oh, she always does. I like it. I love it. He just found out. He's a goat. He just found out what binary meant. Yeah. He's still confused. Oh. Binary ending is weird, girl. <laughs> oh, she got jokes, dog. Uh, okay. Um, any loose ends that we should tie up here? Any thoughts? This is a fair conversation. We didn't have any points prepared. What? Still think we did a pretty solid job. I'll fuck with it. We need some more mics. Yes. Couple weeks. I'm lost here. COVID, man. They're back ordered <laughs> yeah. on the mics. No fucking mic. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a mic, we'd probably be doing back. You was fighting right for now. your life. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga got jokes. Girl. I don't like making him lean into AD's shoulder. You gotta come on our show, dude. Yeah. It's like he's whispering she sweet nothings into AD's like, ear. Really cozy. I shot, I shot her out too on the shit show. She got jokes. Oh, oh, woo! 
But if you guys are going to have her on at the end of the day, then you got to make sure that you don't allow her to just tell all her gangbang stories all over again. Because <laughs> My she's, gangbang's she, greatest hits? She knows when she talks about that shit that she gets OnlyFans sign up, so she just gravitates towards the gangbang stories all the fucking time. <laughs> so you got to make sure. Have your radar up for self-promotion, is what I'm saying. I'll drop some gangbang stories. Is it a naked podcast, or is it like a, no, a we don't that's, naked? No, that's, a, that's I'm Adam's shit. Naked, do no Bobby, way. you know, Eliza told me yeah, when we were on the side, she was like, that she was about to cry over here. She's like, you have to teach me. A lot of things you said were true. I don't want to do this type of stuff anymore. And she was like, she was about to cry while she was sitting here. Do you guys feel like Is she that? okay with you exposing <laughs> that? Well, Is she okay with shit. you exposing that? <laughs> oh, I don't like know. For, for the many thousands, hundreds of No, but we years. did start to dig in at a certain point with the Eliza conversation where we were kind of like getting to the realization or her kind of like admitting that mm-hmm. like maybe the way that she deals with guys is not like healthy. I've been yeah. told her that though when I first met her. I looked at her, I said, you don't need to be doing this and I don't feel like you really about that shit. I think you was just doing that shit to get some attention and now you like, fuck it. Mm. Damn. She like, got nice teeth too. Yeah. Probably teeth fake guy. like his. <laughs> and hers. Yeah. Everybody got fake teeth. Sky, oh. yours are real? Yeah. Gang shit, yeah. me too. t Real teeth. Real teeth gang? Real teeth. I could tell. No shirts. No. <laughs> We gotta figure out what surgery T. Rel gonna get. He got fake teeth. I got fake hair. What are you gonna get? You gotta get a knee BL so you can tell us about it. A knee BL? Yeah. You don't fuck with a knee BL? What the fuck is that? It's where they fucking like break your leg and like make you a couple inches taller. They call it the knee BL because it's like a BBL for dudes. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm gonna give you a heroin connect? What? Heroin. No, heroin! Oh. Right, you heroin. Shit fu- Where's that? You shit fucked up? Yeah, it's fucked up. Let bro. me see your head. It's fucked up, bro. I don't think it is. Oh. That ain't that bad. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. given Tory Lanez. You, you said, oh. <laughs> you can put it back on. Like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> you ain't Tory. But wait. But I need to be here, though. Really? <laughs> your girl been telling you? Your girl been telling you she wants you to do it? She she'll she'll, she'll like treat you better man. in the bedroom. <laughs> she'll treat you better. <laughs> look, man, look, man, you're a little shit, man. Hey, man, I'm fucking. I, I'm happy I did. I'm about to get it done again. Fuck it, man. Make my shit more dense, Doc. Hey, Doc, make me thicken it up. Throw some on the ball spot too, Kara. <laughs> Put it right here. You feel me? We gonna all do this, bro. That's uh, what. And he fucked up too. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it's. Would you say, man? Yeah, He's would you get it? I don't feel like you need it. Josh, Josh loved it because Josh. It's giving LeBron. Shit. Like you had a problem, but you fixed it. Wait, but I feel like this shit look all right. Cool. Must be not bad. You wouldn't want to do it, would you? What? Your hairline? Eventually, yeah. Eventually, yeah, but you, you're good right now, right? Yeah. Why not? A couple of years, you might want to, but oh, yeah. fuck it. I'm saying, they get ass and titty done. We go get hairlines. You fuck with guys with fake hair? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. That Where did your love. hair come from? Back of my head. Oh. It came from Argentina. He <laughs> 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 you, you, you ain't going to give me the connect. Why everybody be hiding their connect? I ain't hiding connect from you. Wait till guys figure out more surgeries, because girls have, like, unlimited surgeries yeah. that they're down to get. It's guys fine. have only really figured out lipo, the hair, the fake teeth. But, bro, wait wait till it becomes stylish to get a fucking facelift in the, in, in the rap oh, industry and oh, shit. I know. Would yeah. you get a dick enlargement? If it was easy and fucking pain free, sure. It doesn't sound very realistic. Would, would you increase your dick by two inches if you like lost your height by two inches? Hell no. <laughs> I already got a decent dick and I'm already pretty. <laughs> I like being 6'3 a lot. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> that's true. Height, y- height y- matters more. Have y'all y- ever sure. encountered a nigga like with a, like with a little dick? Like, and what do you consider a little dick? Yes. Dick rating. Recently, <laughs> so recently, I fucked this dude. I just found out she's been doing dick reviews on her on her OnlyFans for free. Yeah, it's the a good way to get price going that up. In. The price no. going up. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm in that business too. We got okay. Keep going. So I fucked this oh. dude very recently who had a small dick, but he used a Trojan Magnum condom. So like, I didn't get fucked by his dick. I got fucked by a condom, and it hurt really <laughs> bad because it was just a lot of friction. Like it was like. So his like dick, a turtleneck. His on. dick was so small that like the condom seemed like it was almost more. It was like a plastic bag on his dick. Than his yeah. Dick. yeah. Wow. <laughs> can, can, she come, can she come on and sit on my lap? Oh, I think we're almost yeah. done. Okay. <laughs> that is crazy, man. How big? They're out there though. I would consider a small dick like that big. That's so <laughs> yeah. small. What? But That's like average. I like you for sending the bar low. Yeah. 
That's good. That's <laughs> on good. everything. Did I tell you guys about my, um, my little slave with like the, the No pinky? slaves, no. Kazumi! <laughs> okay. You need Carlos, what's it called? Femozoids, whatever the fuck he's He's an activist. Yeah. I will have you know. Okay, my person I, I think I told you when like my little slave, he had like a little tiny little <laughs> oh penis. So I would just put my pinky inside it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, for the record, though, in the like, porn <laughs> world. If you start saying slave animal, I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> I'm in the rap world too much. But in the porn world, everybody says that and nobody thinks twice about it. Yeah. Slave? Yeah, because it's it's normal for a person to want to be. Although I do think that there's like an argument about it being used in that world you, too. For you sure. don't use that shit. Wait, have well, you been with a micro penis? You're my fucking slave. Um, like it was like a lot of thrusting, you know. Okay. Yeah, but like like the, uh, that guy was too small, so I would just like put stuff in there like a kangaroo. Did you suck it? I bet it would have been so easy. <laughs> no, he was a slave. He didn't get any of that. <laughs> oh my god! If you get a micro penis, then you <laughs> got to you got to just <laughs> bang into it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Oh, from Mr. Slave. Or <laughs> I have a lot That's of friends crazy. who prefer small penises though, because they like to just like sit and ride yeah, and just Asian. like rub their clits, like you know, like our little <laughs> tiny little vaginas. I'm just saying, like you know, it's like. If you have a small vagina, you might want a guy with a small dick, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. We like big wieners out here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ain't even begging Wait, big. Bro, they ain't banging big wiener gang. Meet me at Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> In the bathroom. Meet me at the Arby's <laughs> shop. Do 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 do. What You're is that? Like you shop. made a kids bar version. Do a remix. Do, 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 do. do a remix. Would you get Kazumi on a track? Yeah, that's my homie. I love this. He has a studio. Oh. You rap? No. I did. I once won like a, a church um, talent show though wow. because I did a Christian She pee on your whip man! <laughs> Would your girl give you a hall pass to make a porno with Kazumi for a no jumper? You know, um, I don't know. Call me a ho jumper. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck y'all. This has been good. Everybody, <laughs> thank you very much. Woo! Blue Jasmine, Kazumi, Sky... T-Rail, no a mic. Dizzle, no mic. <laughs> Shit fucked up, man. <laughs> no mic, T-Rail. They did the Hoover's wrong again. It was all bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be back soon. We're gonna make this panel stuff better. We're gonna have more mics. It'll be good. Don't worry. Like, comment, and subscribe. No jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Shout out to everybody out there who watched this. Drop a comment. Let us know some good topics that we should talk about. Let us know if you will be there at Kazumi's next gangbang and much more. Woo! I want to come. Yeah, you know, you can watch for emotional support. Fly on the wall. <laughs> yeah, I want to come. <laughs>